Okay. So when we look at your swing, right, I notice that you get in here and you get the club going back really flat, okay? And then you steepen and come this way. You get the hands ahead, but you start opening up the club face, right? You, you talk about how you miss everything high right, okay? In order to put you in a position where you're not gonna wanna apply that outward force on the club head, we have to put you in a position where the club is getting more up in the backswing, right? More of this movement early on, okay? So the exaggerated feel for you is gonna be from P1 to P2, so P1 is set up, P2 is club parallel, that the club head is gonna stay on this side, on the ball side of the hands, okay? If we can get in here, boom, and then start feeling we're going up, we're gonna be in a much better position to get the club in a good position where we can get the hands working out and the club will wanna fall behind us. So come on out here. Grab this. Now when you set up, the feel is from here to here, we're in a good position, okay? Now, start feeling everything hinge up, turn everything to the top. That gets you in the exact position you're looking for at the top of your back side, okay? That's the feel, and you're going to work on this. I'm gonna give you a golf ball. I want you to freeze at P2, so start over. So the first freezer is gonna be here, boom, check it. Then feel the hinge up to P to the top, P4, and then go from there every time. Now, when you go up, okay, you're getting a lot of movements better. We've worked together before. You know, you're, you're in a lot better position in a lot of things, but the backswing still causes problems for you, okay? When you get up to the top, you get into a position where this right arm starts chasing up, that elbow gets really high, and then you break everything down here. You get this wrist really flexed out, the face is under control, but everything gets behind your body. Then when you start coming down, the club goes behind you, but because of where you got that elbow in the backswing, you have no chance to get it out in front of you. So your answer to that is to keep coming down, and then you get an impact, and you just let everything pass and scoop, okay? So you still hit it too high, and for as strong as you are, I mean, used to be a football player, should be murdering golf balls. They're way too high and way too short for the amount of force you should be able to put into a golf ball. But when, you're, when you spend your whole time compensating out for a major issue in the backswing, you're not gonna be able to put all the force you can into a golf ball, right? So we need to concentrate on what the right arm is doing. And that's gonna affect how the left arm moves too. Right? We can create a feel for you with either arm when we get down to it. We'll see which one works better for you. But in terms of what the right arm should be doing, right? When we set up, you get up here and you do the first part of your backswing fine. But from here, instead of getting a fold in that right arm, you start pulling back with, that, with, the, with the arm, right? So you're getting the shoulder really internally rotated going back and it puts you in a lot of trouble, right? So I want you to feel from P2, you're gonna start folding the right arm while trying to keep the left arm as straight as possible. So left arm's your lead arm. Keep that as straight as possible and turn your body as much as you can. So when I do this and I get this fold right here, I'm feeling this is the motion up I'm gonna get. Never a pullback. So come in here and set up. Let's just use the right arm in the beginning. So just hold it with the right arm, put that one behind your back. Okay, we're gonna go to P2, which is club parallel and stop. Boom. Now from here, feel we're getting this motion going, okay? See how that elbow's pointed more down now? Mm -hmm. Okay, now keep turning. That would be, you can push that out more. No, I have to fold it that much. There you go, that would be a good position, okay? Now take your lead hand, go ahead and try and grab that club, okay? You can do that, that's good. Just hold it like that for now, that's fine. Now, look back down to my foot where the golf ball would be. Feel that position right there? Mm -hmm. That's what you want to feel at the top of your backswing, okay? So you're a big, strong guy, and I think you're trying to swing back as far as you can. Now, I like the longest length of backswing you could possibly have for a player while maintaining structure. I don't want you to lose your structure at the top. So go ahead and set up with both hands now. Feel that you're going to keep that connection all the way to the top. Good, very good. Now, what are you feeling right there out of your arms? Pressure here. A lot of pressure here. Sure. It feels like I'm not 
turn enough, which is what's causing the movement. Yep. So you don't feel in, in regular life that you get that much turn? No. This is way more than you usually do? No, it feels like this is less than what I normally do because okay. when, I get, when I come back, I'm usually... Okay. So if you can get more turn out of your chest, I'm okay with that as long as you maintain your structure. That's good. But the arm structure is what matters. Okay. okay? okay. If you can keep that arm structure with a lot of turn, you're going to be in a good position. Okay. okay. Okay? Good. You tried to go long on that. Do it again. Just do it slow. Take it back slow and build that feel. Beautiful. Now, try and hit that golf ball. Good. Just keep building that feel over and over again. Do it slow. Don't let that arm get stuck behind you. Okay. So I just showed you a clip of your swing. Hang out just right over there. When you go back, there is zero turn in your backswing, right? You're getting up here and you're just lifting the club. Now we've worked many times in the past and I want that club laying down better behind you. Okay. Now, you do everything right out of your body and your arms in the downswing to get it to lay down, and it is laying down, but you're still cutting across the golf ball. Okay. Now, I measure depth in terms of where the hands get in relation to the heels. Okay. I've always shown you that. That's where we've always been. If you go up to the top and everything looks good, but your body doesn't turn, are my hands anywhere near my heels? No. No. Okay. I can get in here. And I can crank a big turn. Are my hands near my heels? Okay, I need the Okay. Now, if I make that movement pattern, right, and I work everything more out, boom, from here, I'm going to get that same motion, but the club head is now going to be starting to get behind my hands, right? It's going to put me in a position where I can make an inside out golf swing, right? So go ahead and set up here. Let's go through your movement. Let's get everything more behind you, okay? Tilt down, start coming back. Feel it in your right hip opening. There you go. Get up to the top. Go ahead. Turn that club. I've already turned you enough. See how much your chest is turning? Yeah. Now, if I were to take your hands and draw a line down, they're closer to your heel line now. Okay. Does that make sense? It does, yeah. Okay. That's the position I need you to get in at the top of your backswing every time. Got it. Because that's okay. going to allow the club, when it's going behind you, keep turning. Where is it right now? Hidden, your hands are hidden in it. If, if we're looking back at that camera, right, if that camera's perfectly down the line, those hands are hidden behind your club head. That's the perfect position to just rotate your body through, get your hands leading, get compression on that golf ball, wow. and get that golf ball to do whatever you want. Right. Okay? So work on getting that big turn in the backswing. Okay. Once you get your body cranking, that's going to put you in a position where you don't have to, we don't have to do anything with your downswing. We just have to get the depth in the backswing, okay. and you're in a good spot. Yeah, sometimes I feel like when I try to turn, I might overswing, but I think it's just an over-exaggeration, right? Because in reality... Well, your arm structure doesn't need to change if you're turning more, right? Yeah. I was just working with Daryl on that. I mean, okay. we can get a huge turn and not compromise our arm structure. Gotcha. The overswing okay. comes from us losing arm angles, Got right? It. Okay. You know, that's, that's where everything is there. If you get a big turn and keep your structure, you're going to be in a good spot. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. Hey guys, if you like this video, please like and comment. I come out with new content every Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Thanks a lot, you guys.